Morning all. I'm just going to do a face mask this morning because I need some skin therapy. So I'm going to use the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask because it's quite um, exfoliating and little spatula applicator from Amazon. I'm just trying... Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to use that because it's all dried up. <laughs> Give me a minute. Right, I've got an awful lot to choose from. So, we've got L'Oreal clay. What else have we got? Blemish Rescue Pure Clay Turmeric. I think I'll have to do an exfoliation separately. Oh no, that's an exfoliation one. Let's use that. That shows how long I've used that body shop one. I'll have to order another one. Feels so nice. You all say how lovely man and Susie's skin is. You're so kind. Just try and drink a lot of water and exfoliate and a good skincare routine, really. Oh, that feels so cooling already. I had a really tough, tough day when I got home yesterday and I cried. Such a crybaby. And then I, I had a bad night sleeping and then I woke up crying. But Susie had a sleepover last night with one of our childhood friends, Kelly. And I messaged her. She messaged me yesterday evening. They said they were just watching telly and films and catching up and chatting. I'm so glad Kelly could stay with her. I, don't, I would never leave her on her own. If, if Obviously, if Jason wasn't there, I would be there. Jason was going to go camping, but... I think he changed his mind. He was going to drive up to Scotland with Kelly staying over. But I think he's changed, he's changed his mind and stayed at home. That's my tummy rumbling again. There we go. I don't like that... Uh, What's that caveman film with that funny American guy or Australian guy? 90s film. <laughs> I look like him. So how do we read this one? Apply on the face, five to ten minutes, leave it on, then rinse off, use two or three times a week. I'm going to run a bath in a bit. And I'm going to chuck that away. I'm gutted that it was all dried up. You can see that I've used it a lot though. <laughs> well, not enough recently. Um, if I can find it online, I'll leave the L'Oreal clay mask and the little spatula brushes that I found off Amazon linked below. These are great. 
I used to always apply it. We, we talked about this, me and Suze. We used to always apply face masks with our fingers and it gets so messy. And then I had a brush. I've got a brush somewhere. But again, that takes a lot of cleaning. That just takes a wipe with a wet wipe and you're done. It's drying. I might look like a different person. I look like a supermodel once I've wiped this off. Look at this little baby. <laughs> My sweetheart. Ready? Beep, beep. Minky, you're getting lost in the, the jungle. Minky Moo. Careful. Dear, what's happening? Crazy Ed. What's happening? Hi. Oh, and big doggy. Wait. That big doggy. Wait. Good boy. What are you doing? No.
finally the time has come. I've got my hoover. So I'm going to put all that together. And the spot wash duo. This is mainly for uh, bedding if the doggies are accidentally sick or, you know, just little spots on the carpet. We've never known where that's come from. I think it's oil um, on, a, on a boot stain. But um, that's supposed to be so good. Uh, also for the rug in the kitchen that Cookie accidentally sometimes poops on. So I'm going to give these a good go. My sister's got that one. And she actually... I'm not going to get upset. She actually bought me these two saying that it's Christmas and birthday present because she's not likely to be here. It's our birthday in November. But anyway, enough of that. Thank you so much, Suze. I'm gonna get um I'm gonna get them put together and and have a hoover. Wow, looks nifty. Right, does anybody else read the instructions or do they just go straight in and try and put it together? Um, I would probably try and go straight in without the instructions to put it together. Ash is the one that normally reads the instructions. But um, no, I think I'm going to give these a read first. So I'm just charging my battery and this beauty is all ready to go. I can't wait. Susie said it's incredible for getting all the dog hair up. We do have a SIBO, uh, up, which I absolutely love, but it's, it's old. It's about, mum handed it me down. It must be about 15, 15 years old. Sorry, I'm holding hold a knife because he did the box. Um, so that can stay downstairs because it's a heavy upright and um, with um the rabbit one of the rabbits having a room upstairs as well we can hoover up little bits and bobs in there with this handheld one and minky as you've seen and dave they bring a biscuit up every night onto our bed and they put crumbs everywhere so this little attachment is just going to be absolutely perfect for hoovering all those little crummies up off my bed. <laughs> While I'm downstairs, I'll just show you this beautiful piece of artwork that our friend Anne did, the best man's wife, Ash's best man's wife, for our wedding. It's it's so lovely. And there's just loads of photos of me and Ash from our adventures. <laughs> I love it. Oh, and and while I'm at it, quickly, I'll show you what my Uncle Roy's wife did for us. That's another bit of artwork. I absolutely love it. Carol, thank you so much. 
There's Susie's little creation, the old love potion shack. Uh, shap, shack, shop, shop. <laughs> God, um, that's come off. I just need to glue that back on. Um, and it's it all lights up inside. That was our wedding present. That lights up on our windowsill. We walk downstairs every day. Absolutely love it. That's by my mum's friend Val, who paints the most amazing uh, pictures. And that's of the street in York where we grew up. With the minster there. Val Spain. Absolutely beautiful. So I've emptied all the car to get out the Space Saver tyre. It looks absolutely tiny. That's scary that that's got to go in replace of that one for a bit. But I'll trust it. And that... That's the bloody great nail. Ugh. Anyway, Ash to the rescue. <laughs> you done this before? No. No. Thought you were gonna ask if I came here often then. No. I've managed to find a tyre place. Well, a friend of mine, Paul, has found a tyre place that was open today. So I've driven down there. It's only a couple of miles from my house. Um, they quoted £40 per tyre to Paul on the phone. And then, of course, I turn up, little blonde, little blonde girl, and they try and charge me more. So I got upset because that's what I do. <laughs> um, I rang Paul. He rang them and kicked off and they said you must have misheard us it was 50 pounds and he said well why why are you trying to charge a 60 pound then so they were still trying to charge me more anyway i was going to get all four done but on principle now i've just got the back two done which were needed and i'm hoping that they're that they're all right i don't really know what i'm looking for Anyway, I'm going to drive home now. I've just got some diesel. I'm going to drive home now and Ashley's going to check them. And um, I'm, I'm sure they won't be happy if six foot five me, Ed Ash, turns up and gives them a piece of his mind if the tyres aren't right. So, Oh, wow. Well, that was it was stressful. But I just don't know why people can't be honest, really. And every time something goes wrong now, because... Because everything's so, you know, you you everything's so heightened with with what's going on that I just get I get overwhelmed at everything. It could be anything, and I, I wasn't too good at that before. <laughs> so I've just got home. I had a massive big cuddle on the drive off Ash. He's looked at the tyres. He says they're both okay. 
um, so at least I'm safe enough to get to Sue's again because it's a long way to drive and I drive a lot for work as well. Um, and I've just come home to a little package, so I'm just going to open that. I think it's my little camera mount, but I'll have a look now. So if this is what I think it is, it's my little, it's a clip-on camera mount for my phone. Rather than using a big tripod, I can clip it to things. Why do Amazon do that? <laughs> what a waste of packaging. They could just send it in that, couldn't they? And what I wanted is one that moved round and the mount screws onto there. Oh, there we go. And my phone fits in there. So if I wanted to clip it to, oh, I don't even know what. That. You can all watch me cooking rubbish. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. That I'm well happy with. I think that was like, I don't even want to say, maybe tenner, under a tenner? I don't know. Look at Cookie. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That's going to make my life so much easier. That's cheered me up, so I'm probably going to end the video today um, at this point, and we'll see you all tomorrow, won't we? Yeah. Come and say goodbye, because everybody loves you. Ignore the hay on the floor, that's Cookie making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> night, night, love you all. Freaking love that. What is a great bit of kit? You need one of them for when you're out and about. Yeah. That'd be good for fishing, that. It was peanuts. Really. Why are you still filming? Oh, one last thing. I forgot to tell you about my new Hoover. It's fantastic so far um, from what I've uh, used it on the, the kitchen and the the hallway. I will give um, a better sort of review of it at some point and I'm going to use a spot wash as well. But I'm happy with that, so that's cheered me up. And I can hoover all my crummies out of my bed that <laughs> Minky drops when she eats all the biscuits. The garden's looking beautiful, Ashes moan, the lawn, the... Look at all the blossom. I make a conscious effort to get out there this weekend and just try and relax a little bit. I've got some exciting things coming up next week. Uh... The next few weekends anyway. So yeah, I'm going to end it there. Happy Easter.